to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here, and uh, if you haven't signed up for the buyer class, I don't even know if there's space, but you can try. So anyways, it's just over on the link over there, and uh, we're going to start off with Herman Way, which is a 1275 square foot home. It's a Bolton model, so you only have one full bathroom upstairs. Bedrooms are good size, pretty decent layout on the main floor. But asking 3849, you can get a home with another bathroom upstairs, oftentimes even a finished basement, and a little bit more size for around the same price. So it's going to be very tricky for these guys. Now, unless the home is absolutely ridiculous inside, they're going to have a really tough time at that price. Uh, and here's another example. So for 15000 more than that, you're getting a home that's 250 square feet larger. And it's pretty nice inside. It doesn't have the hardwood floors. But at 399 this one's even not a bad deal. It's a little on the high side from what we've seen from the last couple months. But these models have sold for close to this and not much different than that. So they, they do have a bit of a chance. Yates is at 434.9. It's a Westgate corner, 1717 square feet. You can see they've upgraded the uh, the countertops. You've got a looks like a gas range, California shutters, and uh, pretty popular layout. They tend to sell for good money, and uh, it's got a nice elevation on the outside here. 434.9 is higher than than most of the comparables would uh, would indicate. Most of them are selling in the sort of 410 to 420 range. Uh, Cook Crescent 549, pretty close to the highway. You're getting close to Roper and the off-ramp off the 401 coming eastbound. So 37 by 120 foot lot, so it's a good size deep property. And it says it's about 2,100 square feet. I mean, you could find almost a 2,000 square foot home for like 499. So they're going to have a tough time at the 550, especially being able to hear the, the highway noise. Now, if it's really nice, it's obviously going to help their cause. Mockridge here is 569, 880. We had the same model with siding and not as nice as this one sell uh, in the 520s earlier in the month. And so you've got some granite counters, dark uh, cabinets. Uh, not my favorite floor plan. I'll actually go back to the pictures here. What you see on this angle is that's basically your, your table for the kitchen. The kitchen is just behind where the photographer is. And then you've got these little spoked off rooms and you've got a dining room and then there's a family room or maybe that's the family room, the living room. You can do it however you want, but I, you almost wish they just kind of deleted some of the walls here. It's, it's just, it's a tricky layout. It can really work well for some people. Uh, but I do find that when we show this home, it's really a love-hate relationship. It's not any middle ground. It's either good or not good. A little bit high on the price, but they do have the fifth bedroom upstairs, which is good. So they can converted the loft to an actual bedroom, which I think is a smart move because you really can't buy a five-bedroom home uh, for five fifty. It's just, most of them are higher. They're bigger homes that are that are much more than six hundred thousand in most cases. So Lesage is six fifty nine. And, uh, and so it's, I think it's around, what did they say, 2,900 square feet, 3,000 square feet, something like that. It's okay inside. I don't find it really jumps at you, but Lesage is a good street. It's, uh, yeah, 30, 40 square feet and uh, pretty close to a park too. Got Quinlan at 679, and this one is just under 3,000 square feet. A little bit more upgraded than uh, than Lesage. I find a little bit more impressive inside. I think this home was listed last year, if I remember correctly. But don't quote me on that. You've got some crown moldings. You've got the stone by the fireplace. It's all nice. I just think that it's 679. I mean, the basic around 3,000 square foot homes are going for anywhere from high fives to low sixes. So you start adding the upgrades and, and they obviously have some, but is it $80,000 worth of value that someone would pay? Uh, it's a little tricky. I would expect that one to be a little closer to the mid sixes. Uh, Sydenham, 879. These ones have sold for this, although uh, most, the, the, most of the models that have sold on normal lots are, are hovering around the high sevens right now. So this one at 879, they're obviously going to get value for backing on to, uh, to the green space, which I think eventually is going to be a park going right through that whole subdivision. And Someone's writing you a check for the better part of a million dollars. Put 10,000 in appliances in. It helps the cause tremendously. And uh, that's it. It's, it's one of the only models you'll find in town that's more than 4,000 square feet. And it's got a nice front appearance. Uh, maybe the walkout adds some value. The, the green space, they've done some decent upgrades. 
but it might be a little bit on the high side. Crawford is 1.269, a little bit higher than what we see normally in the subdivision. It's a one acre lot and it's right in Campbellville. And uh, they've done a lot of recent upgrades though. So if you look at what somebody has spent on this one, and these homes are at the age where you look at, okay, what's the age of the roof, the windows, if all that stuff's been replaced, you could blow 50 grand in windows on these homes. Um, looks really nice. The kitchen looks like it's uh, in good shape. And it's obviously proximity to highway does add value, although sometimes homes on Crawford can be a little too close to highway. So that's something you'd want to just check out in person. And we've got this one on Limestone, which has been listed on and off. It's at 1.7 right now. It's a five acre property. Uh, I believe it's about 6,000 square feet of finished space. You can see a little outbuilding there. Uh, I don't understand the animal thing. I don't get it. I mean, I understand that's that's a draw of being in the country is potentially seeing animals but when there's not really a lot of shots of the kitchens or bedrooms or anything like that i'd say that would probably be your main priority above that stuff and that's the list for today so pretty quiet list i don't know if there's a lot of stuff that really jumps out at me as being a great deal but uh, there are lots of great homes we profiled this week so if you want to check anything out give us a call send us an email we'd love to help you out you can meet us at Starbucks. You can come to a buyer class, anything you want. So have a great day and we'll see you, I think, on Monday. Okay, bye.